Guys, there's so much of that stuff out there. So much of it. And that's the reason why people waste so much of their time um, and trying to figure out how to trade is just like, because they get entangled by the idea. Hey guys, welcome back to the short. Okay. Come on. channel this is future trader with mike and once again we are taking a look at the e-mini s&p 500 futures i uh, thank everyone who has who is actually watching the video this morning tune it in and if this is your first time watching one of the videos hopefully we can gain you as a sub here on the channel uh for all those who are currently subscribed to the channel thank you for uh tuning in this morning and watching the video and uh make sure you got you guys got your, your uh, post notifications turned on uh, by clicking on that little bell icon next to the sub subscribe button, that will uh, make sure that you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel. And uh, uh, again, we're looking at the ES. This is the E-mini S&P 500, and this is my go-to market, guys. For those that know, um, you know, know uh, I love trading this particular market, um, and I trade each and every day. So uh, I'm a pure price action trader. I, I follow price action and basically looking for movements over traces back to certain key areas of uh, support and resistance, but really like trading the, you know, out of the area of supply and demand. So um, that's pretty much what I do here on my channel. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn how to trade this way, you know, tune in, watch every day. You know, I go into detail about my trades, how I trade. Um, you know, I, I, this is my live recorded session of, of showing my trades, and then I discuss the, each one of the trades as well. Um, so, um, I'm trying to see what's going to happen right here in this area. Um, kind of been moving sideways the last couple of days, but the market has kind of pushed higher. So we kind of made some um, a high here, a pullback, and then some higher highs here. So. Uh, I'm not sure if we're in a little bullish channel to the ups, a trend to the upside. I'm not sure yet, but uh, right now price is um, it came up and made a high here at the top here at 45.20, and then uh, we started pushing lower. So I'm not sure if this is just a you know push down, pull back, and then push lower type thing, or price is really going to start uh, making a move or swing to the upside and, and start breaking some. Some structure back up to the upside here, so we'll see. As it stands right now, it looks like price is um, possibly trying to. Let's see. Maybe trying to push, still trying to push higher. So I'm not sure. We came up here, made a high here, and then pulled back and kind of made a similar high here in a sense. Um, and then the price kind of pushed lower so uh we'll see what happens here we shall see what happens guys so the market opened up around this area at 9 30 this morning and it was just kind of started breaking some some structure to the downside i'll say let me look at the higher time frame it's the uh, 60 range 60 range to kind of see what we've been doing um yeah, the market uh, made a low here, pull back, similar low, push higher. So, so yeah, um, we didn't come to this area down here. Now, this is the area of demand sitting down here off the 60 range chart. Okay, so let's see. The 60 range chart shows we slightly made a higher high here. So. Uh, maybe this is a, maybe we're going to keep pushing higher. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm just going to kind of trade based upon what I see here. I uh, lost my volume profile here on my four range chart. So let's see. Um, uh, let's see. But yes, yeah, Friday here and uh, let's see what kind of price action we get on Friday. Let's see what the market actually gives us.
Um, yeah, I lost my little volume profile here on my on my uh, full range, guys. So it's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the market's going to do. All right, let's see. I'm not sure price is going to, what it's going to do in this area here. Um, let me take a look here. So we, we pull back, you know, made this little push up, pull back. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Price is bounce. Ah, come on, feel me. Okay. All right. Try to go along here. Take a look here. I can't really get close to the upside. I'm looking for a candle to get close to the upside. I think we'll be okay here. Come on. Ah, it's pulling back. Come on. Try to go ahead and get field here. Pull, push up. There we go. Okay, we got field there. Let me load this um, wide profile back to my four range chart. So price pushed up. Uh, price will trace it back to a little small area demand off of the um, 12 range chart. Uh, let's see if I can show it to you. So basically what we have going on right now, we have is, uh, you know, price pushed down here, pull back, and then it, it didn't push lower. Then it pivoted, turned around off of the fit. This was uh, around the um, 45, 50 area. Made a high here, pulled back. Didn't break this low here, okay? Didn't break that low there. So it pulled back and it made, it's been pushing higher uh, ever since about midday yesterday. Now it's made a high up here at 45.19. And um, which it slightly broke above yesterday's high, okay? And then it, it, it uh, started pulling back or retracing back. So then we reached an area where price bounced at or rejected at. And um, so far it has been. Um, Maybe it will start pushing back to the upside. I'm not sure yet, but basically what it is was it retraced back, came to an area of support, uh, pushed back up, breaking a little structure right here, and then you look for the pullback. And this was a small area of demand off of the 12 range right here. So uh, got a bit of remarket structure to follow price action. So um, I'm not sure if it's going to break through this area. Let's see. Oh, we're at the BPOC right now. Okay, so I got my volume profile loaded back to my chart here. Let's see. Still bouncing. Um, hmm.
Hmm. Yeah, just waiting to see what the Marcus. It's not doing too much. Um, kind of moving sideways now in this area right here on the 12 range. So not doing too too much. Um Hmm. Let's see. So Mark are going to continue pushing higher. What is it trying to do here? Ah, frustrating. Not much going on. So, I am just waiting it out. Um, let's see. Not too much action going on. Trying to be patient. Yeah, let's see, maybe we can get a get us a little get us a pull back here. We'll see. Let's see. Okay. Um, yeah, let me uh, pay a little attention here. Let's see what the market trying to do. Um, Hmm. Okay, I'm going short. Ah, uh, come on. If, um... Come on. There we go. All right. Taking it short back down to this area right here, but it could come lower. Um, let's see here. So I'm up uh, 21 ticks right now. Okay, two little two little trades. Um, yeah, let's see what the market's gonna do. I know this stuff can be frustrating to you guys. You know, it's it, it takes time. Um, it took me some time when I first started. Um, <laughs> very frustrating. Um, 
It's not like trying to go get, you know, work for, work for someone or work for a corporation or a business. Um, and then, you know, learning whatever it is they teach you. I mean, this is more mental than, trade is more mental than anything you'll ever experience in life. Uh, Cause you got so many odds against you so much, you know, it's not a matter of just putting money into an account and trying to trade. So, um, you know, a lot of people, there's so many people that I speak to on a daily where they, you know, they feel like they wasted so much time in their lives, so many years trying to learn this and they just didn't click and they, it just so many different reasons. I mean, cause they kind of got entangled. It was so many different, um, so-called gurus that tried to show them or try to sell them on something. And, you know, some, some people are just out there for your money and if they're not even trading themselves, but they got something to offer to shut, uh, to, to, to sell you with me and they'll make videos about, you know, you see it all the time, these ads popping up on, on YouTube about, uh, try this indicator here or try this, uh, program here and become an overnight success. That stuff doesn't work. I mean, see if they're trading it, you know, live, see if they're recording it, you know, talking about, you know, recording their, 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 their sessions or whatever the case is. And, Guys, there's so much of that stuff out there, so much of it. And that's the reason why people waste so much of their time um, and trying to figure out how to trade is just because they get entangled by the idea um, or the facet of being able to uh, think they can learn something real quick or buy something real quick and then they're gonna become an overnight success. There's no such thing as overnight success in trading. You've really got to dig deep into the trenches, you know, get dirty and, Put your head full in and, and work at the bottom and work your way to the top. I mean, you really got to do your homework and, and really study the markets. It takes time. Like I said, this is not an overnight thing. So uh, if that's you, you're one of them type of people that just feel like you wasted so much of your time, so many years of trading, um, and you're at the brink of just giving up, or maybe you've already given up and you come back to the table now trying to give it a second chance, just stick with it. I mean, really, if, if I could give you the biggest piece of advice, learn market structure. Okay, that's the number one rule. Number one thing: learn market structure, follow price action, learn price action. You know, and it it'll, it'll piece itself together. Um, I, I meet so many traders and people who I know that trade pure price action. But first and foremost, they, they you've got to understand to be able to read and take a look at the bigger picture of the market. Okay, and see what it's trying to do, uh, accomplish. And that's the thing. So, um, but yeah. Um, hopefully this will help some, you know, some of you guys out, kind of inspire you and pick your hopes up, you know, pick your, um, I don't know, you know, pull your, your emotions out of the, the depths and kind of inspire you to push you back up. So just don't give up, you know, really, really, um, uh, you know, just don't waste your money. First of all, trying to, um, buy all these different things that someone is trying to sell you and and are charging you so much crazy amounts of money for a trading session or or program or mentorship whatever the case is i'm not saying some people out here that there's some genuine people that really um know how to trade the correct way and they have good programs um i, I just never taken a part of buying into any particular program i just wanted to learn it myself i mean i just i want to learn it myself you know i wasn't so much on the the fast track of, 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 I had to learn this overnight and then start trading tomorrow, whatever the case is. Um, when you feel like your back is against the wall, you're willing, some people will just, will, will, will they'll try to do anything and, um, they'll force their hand. And, you know, sometimes that, most times that does not work. So just be patient. I keep saying, talking about patience, the patient, being patient is the number one thing as well. I mean, it's a very important piece of trading. I mean, being patient, like, like I'm sitting here waiting for, you know, trade opportunities just like that, guys. I mean, you have to be patient in trading the market as well. So, um, just don't give up, you know, if you're one of the people that feel like you're wasting so much time, so many years, months, weeks, um, trying to figure this out and it's just not for you. Um, you know, I, I talk to people and, they back away from the table and then some people come back to the table. Some people have blown their accounts several times and come back to the table. It's just, everybody's different. You know, you, you, you are your, um, 
biggest hurdle in trading because everything is this right here is your mind it's, it's mental this is more mental than anything trading is not physical it can be physically um get to the point where it's physical if you start getting stressed out and it starts to mess with you men mentally because you know you're allowing you you're you're blowing through your money and people can't just like um accept the fact is that they lost so much money whatever the case is and it caused people to do some crazy things some strange things so um just be patient and it will fall in place if you really take the time if you're one of those irrational type people man this is not gonna work for you um because irrational type people are always clicking 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 and then losing 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 okay so uh put your thinking cap in one and you know really study the markets really understand market structure um, and it will click and you know i'm not saying you'll be successful overnight but you'll start you know kind of bottom fishing and making a little here a little there and then it'll start to add up but you know if it's just not for you then it's just not for you but um you know if you're wasting so much time so many if you feel like you're wasting so much time um that's a personal choice you have to make you have to you have to decide or do i want to just Quit now while I'm ahead. That's the best thing to do. Quit now while you're ahead. Even when you're trading daily, you got to quit now while you're ahead. I mean, you start taking on too many losing trades and you just stop because maybe mentally your mind is just not there. Um, I've been there, trust me. Um, but now I'm smarter and I try to trade and be patient more than anything because I think the biggest part, one of, one of, one of the you know things that most traders have to over, overcome is Sitting in this chair, sitting in front of this monitor, sitting in front of the charts, and taking your hand off the trigger, you know, and just being patient um, and allowing your mind to focus and zoom in on looking for key areas to trade from. Okay. It's like I take this little short right here, bouncing off this key area of, of um, you know, resistance right here in a sense. Um, where you know price pushed up here, pull back. It did break and make a little higher high here. Even if you look at the sixty range, then it starts to trail to the downside. Okay, so then it came down. It broke this low right here. Okay, broke the low, pull back, swung lower. So um, you know at that point, that's why when price pulled back to this area right here, I looked for a quick quick scalp. But I had to be mindful because you know we have areas of support right below us. Um, so. It is what it is. <clears throat> so I'm just going to be patient now. All right. So the market is trying to push higher still. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Price pull back to this area right here. Touch to touch off a small little area, a small level right here. It was a little long. It was a long. You could look, went long there, pushed up higher. Um, and I'm just wondering if we're going to come up and break the highs for today. So we'll see. Um, yeah, pay attention. We'll see here. All right, let's see what happens. Price is in this low volume area here. Little twelve range. Right. Hmm. Pushing higher, right? Hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Ah, looking for price put higher, pushed higher. So, um, 
Let's see something right quick. Kind of marking an area, guys. So please bear with me here. I want to see something. I'm not sure. Maybe we get some rejection in this area. Right here where price is at now. And I'll look to take a short. Um, hopefully. We'll see what price is going to do here. Yeah, I'm short. Okay. Uh, come on. Uh, yeah, I'm short on this trade here. Okay, first contract's filled. Come on. Come on, looking to get filled here on the second contract, and I think that's going to be it for me for today. If we can get filled here, all right, okay, we're good. All right, price will probably try to come down to the low here, this area here, or maybe down to 45 or three. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me to got uh, guys today, okay? All right, let's see. Let's see what it's going to come down to. All right, so that trade right there, uh, picking up a total of 18 ticks. Okay. That was a retracement back to this area right here, the swing coming down, the price pushed down, pull back, and then push lower, taking out the lows right here. So uh, price made a high here, it pulled back. Before pivoting, turning back around, pushing back to the upside, made a high here, and then it started swinging back to the downside, taking out the low here. And what that was, what this was here, was a pullback to the swing right here. This is an area of um, supply with price uh, rejected, and it's down to 40, 45.04 right now, 45.04 and a half. So. Uh, the Iowa suspected it may come down and test uh, potentially this area right here at 0302 and um, see what happens from there. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. I appreciate everyone who's tuned in. Today's Friday. I'm going to go ahead and prepare and get ready. I have a couple things I need to do before the weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. I'm not sure if I'll drop a video tomorrow. Um, you know, it won't be a trading video, but. Um, I may not uh, this this weekend here, but either way, if I don't, I'll see you guys on Monday. If you're trading, please be safe in the market, and I'll see you guys on Monday morning. Uh, again, this is my live, my live recorded session of trading the ES here on April the 8th, guys. Take care. See you then.